All right, now you have your spider board and you've soldered it and you've wired it up. But now you want to program it. The spider board, although it does have a manual reset jumper up here, a little solder jumper that I've provided, there it is, um, it does not have auto reset circuitry like an Arduino does because you might want to be able to use the reset pin or you might be able to want to disable the reset pin. So how do you program the spider board? Well, pin four over here, so right there, is the reset line. And down here, fifth up from the bottom, is the ground line, one of the two. And in order to hold a Arduino in reset, you need to jump the Arduino to ground. Now, just holding it to ground or plugging in the ground will do the job. So that's one of the ways to hold the chip in reset. Now, in order to program it, let me uh, drag open my Arduino window here. Let's take a look. So now I would like to program it. So I will compile and verify the code. This just uh, is code that I wrote that just reads from the analog port. And now I want to program it. So you leave it held in reset, press the upload button until it begins looking for it and then unplug it from reset. And there it goes, it's now flashed. Now we can see that it is the code is working if I open up the serial monitor and there you go. You can actually see that it's using the floating pin to just generate some random numbers. And there you go. That's the simple way to hold the spider board in reset long enough to program it. Just jump reset to ground.